On January 1, 2020, nearly 90,000 people braved cold weather at MetLife Stadium in New Jersey to celebrate finishing reading the entire Talmud. Ancient prophecies fulfilled? Discover the astounding Talmud prophecy predicting the Nephilim's return before the Messiah. These enigmatic beings? How will they affect future events? Explore this mysterious prophecy and its ramifications for our world. We'll explore the terrifying potential of Nephilim's return through ancient scriptures and modern interpretations. Are we facing a major revelation or an age-old mystery? Learn today! There is a plausible prophecy found in the Jewish Talmud that concerns the return of giants and Nephilim prior to the long-awaited arrival of the Messiah. This prophecy was written thousands of years ago. For a very long time, people have been looking forward with great excitement to this event. This ancient text, which is packed with mystical disclosures and human revelations from a divine source, has enthralled generations of researchers and seekers alike. It is said to date back to at least the 3rd century BC. The mysterious prophecy seems to indicate that there will come a time when these legendary beings will once more be permitted to roam the world. The meaning of the prophecy is obscured by allusions and metaphors. According to the teachings of the Talmud, both the giants and the Nephilim are enigmatic entities that are believed to be the children of divine beings and ordinary women. Their very existence is entwined with a historical era that was characterized by substantial upheaval in terms of cultural norms and religious practices. The interpretation of the prophecy is that the return will mark a time of immense transformation, predicting a period of intense trials and sufferings before the ultimate salvation of humankind. This view is based on the fact that the prophecy was written thousands of years ago. Experts continue to engage in impassioned disputes and interpretations of the prophecy, each attempting to comprehend its more fundamental importance as the prophecy continues to echo through the annals of history. Although some people understand the prophecy to literally imply that these ancient entities will return, others consider it to indicate something altogether different. Some feel that the prophecy is symbolic and that it refers to the reawakening of great energies that have been dormant for millennia. Other people believe that the prophecy is symbolic and that it refers to the reawakening of tremendous energies that have been dormant for millennia. Regardless of the precise interpretations that have been proposed for it, the prophecy that is recorded in the Jewish Talmud continues to be a source of excitement and contemplation for individuals who are interested in getting an understanding of the profound secrets that surround the advent of the Messiah. This is the case even though there have been numerous interpretations proposed for it. Because of its status as a foundational work that plays a key role in the formation of Jewish communities' religious law and theology, the Talmud is an essential component of Rabbinical Judaism. This is due to the fact that the Talmud is considered to be one of the earliest collections of Jewish law. It is a complete collection of historic teachings, discussions, and interpretations of the Torah, and it covers a wide range of areas of Jewish life as well as Jewish theology. The Talmud is a collection of historic teachings, discussions, and interpretations of the Torah. It is possible to trace the beginnings of the Talmud all the way back to the early years of the Common Era. The Talmud is the outcome of the joint efforts of rabbis and academics over the course of numerous generations. The Mishnah and the Gemara are the two basic components that make up this work. Collectively, they span a broad spectrum of subjects, including religious doctrines, rituals, civil laws, and ethical principles. The Talmud is not only a source of legal instructions for Jewish people, but it is also a wellspring of moral concepts and philosophical enlightenment. This is because the Talmud was written in the 2nd and 3rd centuries CE. This book is a vivid and current reference for contemporary Jewish living due to its in-depth research of the verses in the Torah and its ability to adapt those verses to a range of various situations. As a result, this book combines the two to create a guide that is both contemporary and relevant. The study of the Talmud is an essential part of rabbinical education because it fosters intellectual rigor and critical thinking, not just among rabbinical experts, but also among the students who are being educated to become rabbis. Its immense influence on Jewish law and spiritual development has ensured that its relevance will endure throughout history, transforming it into an ageless and beloved treasure that is knitted into the fabric of rabbinical Judaism. Its relevance has been ensured by the fact that it will endure throughout history. There are arguments about the connection between the coming of the Messiah 
and the return of the giants and Nephilim in the writings of the Talmud. In ancient Jewish writings, it was believed that giants, also referred to as Nephilim, were the offspring of divine creatures who had previously inhabited the planet. This theory was based on the belief that giants once inhabited the earth. It is thought that their reappearance is a sign that significant and formative events are about to take place somewhere in the world. In the discussions in the Talmud, the return of the giants is depicted as a precursor to the entrance of the Messiah, who, according to Jewish eschatology, is anticipated to arrive as a savior and a redeemer. In other words, the return of the giants is a sign that the Messiah is close at hand. It is thought that the appearance of these unexplained beings marks the beginning of a new phase of transformation, as well as the realization of divine prophecies. According to the teachings of the Jewish tradition, the arrival of the Messiah is connected to the reestablishment of peace and justice, as well as the ultimate salvation of the world. Many people believe that the reappearance of giants and Nephilim is a sign that the world is approaching a turning point in history, at which time supernatural intervention will usher in a new age that is characterized by increased understanding and harmony. As the conversations dive deeper into the complexities of this esoteric idea, they stress how important it is for people everywhere to be emotionally and spiritually ready for the arrival of the Messiah. The teachings of the Talmud promote a concentration on righteousness, compassion, and repentance in order to accept the impending era of divine favor and transformation. The emergence of the giants and Nephilim in Talmudic discourse is a sign of the coming of the Messiah and the momentous changes that it heralds for the human race. This eschatological expectation acts as a reminder for individuals to embrace spiritual progress and virtuous conduct in preparation for the intervention of God that is expected to occur in the future. In Jewish tradition, there is a notion that Jews are currently living in the Messianic Age, which is a period that is marked by the anticipation of the Messiah's ultimate manifestation. This idea comes from the fact that they have been waiting for the Messiah for a very long time. Since the dawn of time, Jewish thinking and religion have been built upon the foundation of this particular doctrine. Throughout the course of history, Jewish communities have been subjected to a multitude of tests and challenges, which has resulted in a deeply ingrained yearning for the messianic redemption that will bring about world peace, justice, and harmony. The biblical prophecies and ancient teachings that highlight the impending appearance of the Messiah, a figure who will serve as a supernatural savior and shepherd humanity towards a utopian era, are the source of this belief. These prophecies and teachings are the driving force behind this religion. This hope for the coming of the Messiah is not confined to any one particular era, but rather spans each and every generation among the Jewish people. They continue to have a great sense of optimism and spiritual vigilance, looking for signs of the near arrival of the Messiah and getting themselves ready to meet the long-awaited Savior. The conviction that the Messianic Age will come at some point in the future transcends geographic boundaries and brings together Jewish communities all around the world in a common hope for a better future. When faced with difficult circumstances, having this conviction in common can be a source of consolation and fortitude as it helps to develop a sense of unity and strength. Both the book of Isaiah and the Gospel of Luke make cryptic allusions to the possibility that giants and Nephilim will make a comeback in the end times. These intriguing references can be found in the Bible. Since the beginning of time, theologians and other academics have been captivated by the mystery that is contained within these verses. There is a phrase in the book of Isaiah called Isaiah 2614 that refers to the Nephilim after they have passed away. These Nephilim were known as the progeny of the sons of God and the daughters of men in Genesis 6-4. The resurrection of these ancient giants points to a frightening and puzzling occurrence that will take place during the end of the world. Jesus makes reference to the time of Noah and the existence of giants before to the great flood in the Gospel of Luke. In this passage, the Nephilim are mentioned. This illusion establishes a link between the end of the world and the time before the flood when Nephilim roamed the earth. These allusions to the return of giants and Nephilim in the end times are veiled in ambiguity and symbolism, which leaves an opportunity for a variety of interpretations and hypotheses about the significance of what they mean. Some believers consider them as physical manifestations, while others see them as symbolic depictions of spiritual forces or moral problems that would come in the end days. 
Both interpretations are held by believers. These biblical connections, regardless of how one chooses to interpret them, lend an air of mystique and anticipation to the eschatological happenings that are foretold to take place in the last days, which compels readers and academics to seek a more profound comprehension and insight into the sacred books. The apocalyptic prophecy of the end times predicts that humanity will soon enter a period that will be fraught with anxiety and plagued with judgment. Scriptures from a variety of faiths and traditions all sound the alarm about impending apocalyptic events, moral decay, and natural disasters that will characterize this trying time period. It is thought that the devout followers would face insurmountable obstacles during this period of tribulation as they stand up to the approaching wrath of a higher power. The faithful cling to the belief that God will save them despite the overwhelming difficulty of their situation. They look for direction and comfort in the teachings of their religion and other sacred writings, hoping to find confirmation that their steadfast faith will eventually be rewarded. It is a common belief in many world religions that individuals who maintain their dedication, even in the face of adversity, will be spared the punishment that is reserved for those who refuse to acknowledge their wrongdoing. In the midst of the anarchy and upheaval that characterize the end times, having faith that one will be saved can be a source of both strength and solace. The faithful are exhorted to be steadfast in their pursuit of noble deeds, to seek forgiveness for their shortcomings, and to preserve compassion and love toward other people. The end times are shrouded in mystery and filled with dread, but the faithful are driven by the prospect of salvation to cling to their faith even in the face of the unknown, knowing that their dedication will bring them safety and eternal reward. Benjamin was a man who lived in a charming little village that was set amid golden wheat fields and rolling hills. He became a ray of sunshine and a source of motivation for those who were fortunate enough to be in his immediate vicinity thanks to his infectious smile and unyielding faith. He would get together with his friends and neighbors on a daily basis and give passionate speeches about the significance of committing one's life to Jesus Christ. He was adamant in his conviction that surrendering one's life to Jesus was the only way to find meaning and fulfillment in one's existence. He stressed how important it is to seek a relationship with the Savior and to obey the teachings of God by making adherence to God's Word a priority this close relationship that Benjamin had with Jesus not only provided him with consolation in the midst of difficult situations, but it also served as preparation for what was about to take place in the hereafter. His alluring words left a great impression on the people of the community who discovered comfort and direction in the message he conveyed. Benjamin led them in prayer and Bible study sessions to help them comprehend the significance of loving one another, forgiving those who had harmed them, and adopting humility as values that were reflective of Jesus' teachings. Many people in the neighborhood, whose hearts had previously been filled with uncertainty, had their perspectives altered by Benjamin's remarks as the days, weeks, and months passed. Their lives started to become characterized by a revitalized sense of optimism and an increased sense of intimacy with Jesus. They started acting in a more genuine manner, placing an emphasis on compassion and reaching out to others who were in need of assistance. Benjamin's message rang through the hearts of those he touched, telling them to keep their eyes set on Jesus and to conduct their lives in preparation for whatever lay ahead, despite the fact that the world around them might be unclear. The power of committing one's life to Jesus and seeking obedience and a relationship with Him as a means of preparing oneself for the future that He has in store for all of us is demonstrated by the fact that His legacy has persisted long after His time. Thanks for watching. For more, subscribe to our channel.